Manchester United strengthen the Old Trafford curse and inflict Frank Lampard's first defeat as a Premier League manager by comfortably beating Chelsea by four goals to nil. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on today's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place earlier on today between Manchester United and Chelsea at Old Trafford in the Premier League, which Chelsea obviously lost by 4 goals to nil. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll be giving you the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of the match, then I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself, and lastly, I'll be giving you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Super Cup game, which will be played in Istanbul on Wednesday night against Liverpool. So without further ado, let's get straight into this review. So kicking things off with the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of today's game, and as always, starting off with the formation. Yes, it was a 4-2-3-1, but just before I get into the personnel in which Frank Lampard chose to start the game, I'm not entirely sure if this is how the team looked, but in terms of the personnel in which he went with, he went with Kepa in goal, he went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, Andres Christensen, Kurt Zuma and Emerson Palmieri, he went with a midfield five of Mateo Kovacic and Jorginho in the two deep midfield roles, with an attacking midfield trio from right to left of Pedro Rodriguez, Ross Barkley and Mason Mount. Now what I was saying earlier is that I'm not entirely sure if Mason Mount was actually in the left attacking midfield position or the left wing position if you like. But that's what Google gave me, so that's what I've put on my notes, and that's what I'm going to tell you guys. And he went with Tammy Abraham up front by himself, but to recap, because I had to do a bit of explaining for you guys, Kepa in goal, the back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, Andres Christensen, Kurt Zuma and Emerson Palmieri, a midfield five of Mateo Kovacic and Jorginho in the two deeper midfield roles, with an attacking midfield trio from right to left of Pedro Rodriguez, Ross Barkley and Mason Mount, with Tammy Abraham up front by himself. So that was the lineup that Frank Lampard went with at the start of today's match. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off with the first half. I actually thought that we started off fairly well. Our movement on and off the ball was good in the first um, few minutes. Tammy Abraham actually hit the post in the first in the first three minutes. I believe it was in the third minute after he rolled um, Marcus Rashford. I think it was. Um, yeah, it was a brilliant. It was a brilliant shot. He was very unlucky with that. Chelsea then created a few more openings in the opening exchanges and put the hosts on the back foot. Sadly though, Kurt Zuma conceded a penalty after bringing Marcus Rashford down in the penalty area in the 17th minute, I think it was, and then Marcus Rashford made it 1-0 to Manchester United from the penalty spot. Brilliant penalty, I have to admit. Kepa did dive the right way, but it was just too high for him. Sorry about the aeroplane or the helicopter or whatever that is. I do apologise for that. Uh, Manchester United did, did go on. They did go on to gain control of the match after they scored, and they did um, create a few more openings, although. Um, nothing came of the, uh, the openings in which they created. In the latter stages of the first half, Chelsea did um, regain the momentum in which they had in the early stages of the match, but it was 1-0 at half-time, and overall, we were decent going forward, very, very, very average defensively, and we should have put the ball in the back of the net a few times, because we hit the post, we hit the bar, we even had the ball go across the box without any players getting any, any contact on the ball. Um, now for my thoughts on the second half. I thought that we started the second half well. Um, we won two corners in a short space of time, which is of course brilliant. And we looked as though we we had the desire to go out and go out and overturn our one 0 deficit in which we sustained at half time. Manchester United sat deep um, to stop us from getting through them, and they they of course did, did so so that they can um, hit us on dangerous counter attacks, which is what what they of course did. Um, we gave the ball away and allowed Manchester United to break, like I just said, and Anthony Martial made it 2-0 in the 65th minute um, after, I believe, 
it was I cannot remember who crossed the ball in, but one of um, one of the their wide players crossed it in, and we didn't defend it. And Anthony Martial hit it. I believe it was with his um, left foot or his left leg, shall I say? And it went into the bottom corner. You cannot blame Kepa for that, and you cannot blame Ke Kepa for any of the goals. Um, but yeah, it was a good goal for them. Um, Marcus Rashford gets his second goal of the game after. Sh I mean, shortly after Anthony Martial makes it 2-0, and that was, of course, the third goal in the game. And for me, this was just shocking defending. How we allowed Paul Pogba, how we allowed Paul Pogba to put the ball over the top, and how we how we didn't defend that ball was just something else. And we just allowed him to get through. Kepa did come out, but by time he by time he he came close to the ball, the ball was back in the back of the net or or reaching the back of the net. If that makes any sort of sense. Um, we then struggled to get the ball up to our attacking players and to be honest it just wasn't looking too great for us after the third goal went in and then Daniel James makes it 4-0 with 9 minutes plus additional time left off the game and after that it was definitely game over. Overall Chelsea did well in the first half especially in the attacking third. Chances were created but uh, we, we were simply we, was, we simply weren't clinical and Manchester United punished us in the second half. But that's it for my thoughts on the game and I do apologise if you cannot see my face. It is getting dark and I've had to do this one really quickly because I am pissed off at this result. But yes, that's it for my thoughts on the game. Let me know what your thoughts on the game are down in the comment section below and as always, I'll do my best to respond. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming game which will be played in Istanbul on Wednesday night in the UEFA Super Cup. It's going to be a tough game and the players won't have a lot of time to rest because they are going to have to travel. Um, I'm not even sure if they're going to be going back to Cobham. But yes, they're going to have to travel to Istanbul. Um, Liverpool have had or will be getting more time to rest or more, more time to prepare for Wednesday's game. But Frank Lampard is going to have to motivate the players after today's loss and provoke a reaction. I have a feeling that we might create as many chances as we did today, but the question lies in, in our ability to put, put our chances to bed or put our chances away. So that's it for my thoughts on Chelsea's next game, which will be on Wednesday in the UEFA Super Cup. I'm not confident. Are you guys confident? Let me know in the comment section below and as always I'll do my best to respond. You guys should know that by now. But yes, thank you all for watching. That is the end of this review. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Again, I am sorry if you can barely see my face. <sighs> Come on you blues. Come on Frank Lampard. <sighs> please, please, please pro provoke a reaction and win the Super Cup. That would be very nice and peace.